Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my glitchy edits specifically for TikTok. This has been long awaited, I feel like. First thing I want to say, which is actually really helpful, why so please don't skip, is that I feel like half the battle with these types of edits is audio choice. So I really suggest you get a good, fast paced audio. But intros are also important, so like, um, but I'll talk more about that in a second. If you struggle finding these type of audios, then I have a SoundCloud playlist. I'll link in the description. So first things first, I have three different clips because once again, intros are everything. Usually what I do when I have three intros, I like to kind of do a flash or something in between just so it's not boring. And what I like to do mainly is get an adjustment layer. I do invert for one. I kind of move it one frame back before it completely shuts off. So for this one frame, I'm going to look up tint and I add that to this one and I make back to black completely white. So it's just like a white screen. And then the next adjustment layer, I do invert and this is what it'll look like. I still have to do like the text and stuff, but that's what I'm doing for now. And so I don't want it to repeat. So I'm just going to do a flash for the last clip that's showing. I already have my base ready, which is just all the clips I'm using and they're twixtered. Why do I sound like that? For these edits, I love to do BCC directional blur. I make a graph. I kind of overextend the graph and then it'll look like this. Then I add exposure and it's from two to zero. The last thing I want to add is my opacity from 100 to zero. And for my opacity graph, I kind of like to move this yellow stick under. And then for glitch edits and fast edits like this, you want to add a shake if you want. I go to S shake, add that to my clip, and then I mess with the settings here first. So obviously enable motion blur and then your frequency is going to be 15. Then I make the Z dist 1.650. I make the Mo blur length 1.655. So you're just going to turn off the X Rand amp for X, Z and tilt. And then you go into X shake and make sure that the X Rand amp is zero because I want this to be a Y shake. But if you want to be an X shake, then do this vice versa. So the amplitude, if you want it to be on the low end, then I would say four and below. I'm gonna meet in the middle and do five, and then that's gonna be our first keyframe, and then you go towards the end and you make it zero. I really like a tight graph for my shakes. And then I'm gonna enable motion blur, even though it already has it on there, just to be safe. Since it's a bit too rough for me, I'm gonna lower my amplitude. So for this intro, I have three of the same clips, but I need to spice it up a little bit. So I'm gonna copy and paste what we did here onto these two clips, and then we're gonna work with them from there. So I'm gonna pre-compose, and then I wanna make this a cool black and white coloring I kinda have. I already did a tutorial on this, I think. I don't remember which video. If I do, it'll pop up on the screen. If I don't, then I don't. I also do have a preset of it in the link in my description it's like less than a dollar or maybe a dollar i don't know it's not that expensive it's a little dark so i'm gonna make the brightness a bit higher i think the color will make it bright anyway but and then i'm gonna push s for scale the first keyframe will be 100 the next will be 120 people usually do 110 i feel like that's so not a lot for me so i do 120 and then i do this little graph depending how sharp you want the beginning you make this stick higher and you make this one longer i kind of want it to be in the middle you can't really see it but that's okay then i want to copy and paste these two scale keyframes onto my next clip right click and do time reverse keyframes fix the graph because it's coming out too slow. Doing good so far, I like it, but I kind of want to do something more to those two clips because even though we already kind of spiced it up and it looks fine, I still think I want to do more. So we're going to do borders. Kind of get scared to mess with borders and I may even just take this out. Get a black solid and the length should be for the first and second clip. And get CC jaws and make the height zero. I'm going to make the direction 90. So make the completion 100 for the first keyframe. Make it at the start and then towards the end of your keyframe you make it 60 or 50 it depends how it looks and then we're gonna do one more keyframe to make the borders disappear and that's gonna be a hundred again and now we need to graph them so and then I need to make this clip lighter so you guys can see this clip is a good opportunity to put in your watermark you know because it's quick and it's kind of like a flash 
Life just flashed before my eyes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I just pretty much copy and pasted the blur, the shake, and whatnot onto the rest of my clips. Honestly, this seems kind of fire. Like, you can't hear. But once again, sound effects, audio choice is everything. How I do my glitches is one frames, which is... Technically not everyone does their glitches, but you know, in case you weren't aware. Some people like to do their glitches where it kind of does a lot of glitches for the last three frames, like here, for example. But personally, I like to just do one glitch toward the end and possibly the beginning of my clip. I kind of just do whatever effect I want. Lastly, you want to add good coloring. I'm probably going to do my forest coloring like I always do. Yeah, I like the forest coloring for this. Um, I think it looks good. Sometimes I like to spice it up, but today I think I'll keep it. And then you also want to add your panning. Panning is super important for these. Okay, and that is pretty much everything. Here is the finished edit. It actually is sitting at 47k likes on my TikTok right now. So, so thank you to anyone who saw it and liked it already. If you'd like to watch it with sound, then it's on my TikTok, Films by Tati. Um, the forest coloring, if you're curious, could be bought on my Payhip, or you can just watch the tutorial I made already. It's a few videos back. Once again, fast paced audios and sound effects are key for the style I have for glitch edits. So I actually don't do them a lot on TikTok because it's hard to find audios like these. But once again, I will link my SoundCloud playlist in the description so you guys can have a bit of an easier time finding it. If you kind of aren't familiar about the one frame situation I kept on saying, it's because I have a lot of videos already on the glitch style. So I suggest watching this one right here. It kind of introduces one frames uh, decently. Or if you just aren't sure what kind of effects you want to put on your one frames, I'm kind of the same way. So I'll look up um, one frame glitches on YouTube and a bunch will always pop up. They're super helpful. So I definitely suggest that. And I definitely do suggest getting Glitchify. I've spoken a lot about Glitchify. I think I love that plugin so much. So I think that's definitely something you should consider trying to get. Okay, love you. Bye.